I'm Lucy Hogarth and I am the Asset Performance Senior User on the Burton Project. The Bramhall Close, Warren Lane and Lansdowne Road sections of the defences were formerly earth embankments with various maintenance and end of life issues. Phase 2 works introduced sheet piles and concrete into these structures to provide greater structural integrity and extend the life of the defences. These structures were buried and landscaped in most areas to blend in with the garden and open space settings. In all three sections, we had to work closely with the landowners and adjacent local residents who have regular access to the defences. Hi, I'm Will Groves, Senior User for the Environment Agency with a focus on stakeholders. Uh, this section is the Paget High School section. Here we designed the flood defences to stay within the original footprint so as not to take up the high school's playing field or on the other side uh, the golf course. Uh, here we also timed the works so that the high school could use the playing field during the summer term so that they could use the 400 metre track which comes right up against the defence. Hello, I'm Peter Richardson. I'm the site agent for GBV constructing the Burton Flood Defence. Here we are at the golf club. This is an area where we have installed a sheet pile to improve the consistency of the, sheet, uh, the flood defence that was existing. And we've also regraded the embankments to have a more consistent, maintainable section. We've also upgraded the footpath on top of the um, flood embankment to give a better public access to the top of the flood banks and further and beyond. The allotment section of the defences, as the name suggests, runs adjacent to the Regatta Lane allotments in Branston. On the wet side is Branston Golf Club. Here we introduced a sheet pile which is exposed in places and landscaped in others. Important aspects of the work here were ensuring security for the allotments, continued use of the golf course and retaining the well-used path along the defences once the section was complete. Hello, my name's Jamie Rogers. I'm a project manager on the Burton on Trent Flood Risk Management Scheme. We constructed a sheet piled embankment along the length of Blackpool Street, including fencing and demarcation posts to stop encroachment onto the embankment, as well as cattle using the area. Hi, my name's Danny Hayden. I'm the Environment Agency Project Manager on the uh, Flood Risk Management Scheme. This is Green Street and here we demolished the old flood wall and constructed a new board piled flood wall. This is the library and leisure centre section of the scheme. At the library we raise the top step um, so we can raise the defence and then replace the concourse there with a high spec finish. The path to the left of the library there is also the flood defence. It's high ground but we've now marked it out as a high defence and we also replaced the lighting column for the leisure centre wall. We completely replaced the old wall with a brand new red brick wall which is uh, constructed from reinforced concrete and also in some places sheet piles. We also widen the footpath at the base of the new flood defence and this work also forms part of a hard and soft landscaping improvement plan that the, uh, the East Stasborough Council will deliver later in 2021.
this is the Don Amot uh, mobile home site and here we used uh, the Geek and Superbush silent piling technique to install eight and a half metre long piles to protect the mobile homes from erosion and flood risk. Without the use of this piling technique we would have had to have moved residents uh, in order to do the work which would have been extremely challenging during Covid if not impossible. This is the Meadow Lane farm site. The defence was a failing asset because it was unsafe to maintain and not at an adequate height. Here we've installed sheet piles and we profiled the embankment to bring the defence up to standard. At Branston Pumping Station, we upgraded existing um, life expired mechanical and electrical assets in installing a brand new walk in kiosk to protect from the elements, as well as improving the compound um, to improve maintenance access. We lined the culvert using a synthetic material which will extend the life of the asset for years to come. These are the ring banks. These are three crescent shaped flood defences that prevent water flowing under the railway at the upstream end near Branston. We sheet pile these to improve their structural form. As part of the scheme, we're improving 20 hectares of habitat. We're doing this in parts at the Stafford Wildlife Trust and the Stafford Borough Council, and this supports the regeneration of the town. I'm Imke Golby, I am the Public Liaison Officer for the Burton Flood Risk Management Scheme. I've been working on the scheme since 2017 when we first started holding or drop-ins for local communities. Um, in the time that I've been working there, I've been doing a variety of different um, engagements um, from door knocking to uh, public engagement events to attending council meetings um, and towards the end of course the virtual uh, meetings with community members. Um, it's been great, a great community to work with uh, on a lovely scheme. Throughout the scheme we've contended with some very high river levels including the highest ever recorded in February 2020. This didn't prevent us from delivering the scheme on time and to budget and of course we also contended with Covid and neither did that stop us in our tracks. In February 2020 some homes on the A38 just south of Burton flooded and we are going to tackle that by building a defence in 2021. This is an addition to the main scheme.